Good evening. My name is Dr. Gertie Chimeka Anyawoke. I'm an infectious disease physician. I practice in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Today's date is March 12, 2020, and this is an update on coronavirus. Please, first thing I want to stress here is do not panic. Put it in context. Yes, we have coronavirus. We have other viruses. There's influenza virus. It kills thousands of people every year. But think about it. In the last one year, how many people died from road traffic accident? How many people died from cardiac disorders? We have many different viruses. There's cytomegalovirus, there's Epstein-Barr virus, there's SARS, there's MERS, there's also Ebola. They are all concerning, but most especially, they're more concerning in elderly people, um, in people with chronic lung disorders or other uh, suboptimal immune systems. This means if you're healthy, you have a high likelihood of recovering if affected by the coronavirus. So let us not panic. Please let us not panic. What are the main symptoms of coronavirus? I would say fever and dry cough are the main symptoms. So if you have fever and dry cough, self-quarantine, don't go to work, do not go to school, do not go to public places, at least for 14 days, if not 28 days, because this virus can remain in the system for a while. What are the things that we have to remember? I would say, number one, wash your hands frequently. Number two, wash your hands frequently. Number three, wash your hands frequently. You see, my first three points is wash your hands frequently. Then let's talk about number four. Do not shake anyone's hands. Number five, do not touch your face with your hands. Number six, carry hand sanitizers with you and put it in your car, in your environment, a place of work, on your desk, and please use the sanitizer. Number seven, use tissue to open doors when possible or use gloves as needed with surface contact. Again, wash your hands frequently. Number eight, people with cough should cover their mouth with tissue and if not possible just wash your hands immediately after coughing on your elbow may get the virus on your clothing and may risk spreading number nine use disinfectants provided in places like walmart and other places that are public but Carrying your own sanitizers and disinfectants is even better. So, my people, let's not panic. Let's not panic. There are, these are things that we can do to arrest the situation. Self-quarantine if you've been exposed with someone, you've been exposed to somebody that has coronavirus. Thank you very much. Again, my name is Dr. Gertie Chimeka Anyawoke. I'm an infectious disease specialist. I practice in Baton Rouge.